The title of this book is The Very First Easter. It was illustrated by Kelly Poley and written by The Beginner's Bible. The Life of Jesus Jesus did amazing things when he was alive on earth. Jesus healed sick people and calmed dangerous storms. Jesus fed thousands of people from just a little bit of food. He could do these things because he is God's son. The True King Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. Jesus told two disciples to bring him a donkey. He told them where to find it. Jesus rode the donkey into Jerusalem. A big crowd welcomed him. People waved palm branches and put them on the road in front of Jesus. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the King of Israel. The leaders in Jerusalem did not like Jesus. They saw how many people were following him and they were angry about it. They were jealous. Washing the Disciples' Feet Jesus and his disciples gathered together for a special Passover meal. Jesus knew he would be leaving them soon. After supper, Jesus removed his outer clothing. He wrapped a towel around his waist. He filled a bowl with water. Then Jesus washed and dried the disciples' feet one by one. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, you should never wash my feet. Jesus said, As I have washed your feet, you must wash each other's feet. Jesus showed them how to love and serve each other by washing their feet. Jesus told the disciples, One of you will turn against me tonight. Who will turn against you? John asked. The one I give this piece of bread to, Jesus said. He handed it to Judas and said, Do what you must. Judas quickly left. The Last Supper Jesus picked up a loaf of bread and thanked God for it. Then he broke it into pieces. He gave the bread to his disciples to eat. Jesus said, This bread is my body. Every time you do this, think of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine and thanked God for it. He gave it to the disciples to drink. This is my blood. It is poured out to forgive the sins of many. The time has come for me to go away. Where I am going, you cannot go yet. I am going to heaven to prepare a wonderful new home for you. But I will return to you soon. At first you will be very sad. But do not be frightened. Soon you will understand and you will be filled with joy. Jesus is arrested and crucified. Jesus went to his favorite garden to pray. The disciples went along. Jesus prayed, Father, I don't want to suffer the pain of the cross, but your will is more important. I am ready to give my life. The leaders sent some soldiers to take Jesus away, even though he didn't do anything wrong. Peter wanted to protect Jesus, but Jesus says, no, I must allow this to happen. All the disciples ran away, and the soldiers arrested Jesus. The soldiers took Jesus to the leaders. They said, You say that you are the Son of God. We do not believe you. The soldiers took charge of Jesus. They made him carry a big wooden cross. They made him carry it to a place called Golgotha. There they nailed Jesus to the cross. Jesus died on the cross. 
Everyone who loved Jesus was very sad, but they forgot something important. Jesus had said he would see them again. Jesus is risen. After Jesus died, some of his friends laid his body in a big tomb. They sealed it shut with a large round stone. Soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days later, the earth shook. An angel of the Lord came down from heaven and pushed the stone away from the tomb. Some women were walking to the tomb. When they saw the angel, he said, Do not be afraid. Jesus is not here. He has risen. When the women saw Jesus, they fell to their knees to worship him. Jesus smiled and said, Go tell the other, others that I will see them in Galilee. The women ran to tell the disciples the news. Jesus returns. The disciples had locked themselves in a small room because they were afraid the leaders would send soldiers to arrest them. Suddenly, Jesus appeared to them. He said, Peace be with you. They thought he was a ghost, but Jesus said, Touch my hands and my feet so that you will know it is really me. The disciples cheered. They were happy to see Jesus again. Later, later Jesus told his disciples, I gave my life so that you could be with me in heaven. I am going there to prepare a wonderful new home for you. When I come back next time, I will take you with me. Jesus went up to heaven in a cloud. Someday, he will come back to take the people who love him to heaven. Jesus loved people so much, he died for everybody's sins. The End